Rain. Finally, some of the rain is falling in New Mexico, but right now in the metro, if you're headed out on your Sunday night, no problems. Right now, we did have a storm in the southeastern portion of the city that came off the Sandia Mountains that moved into Albuquerque, but that fizzled out pretty quickly. And we're seeing most of the activity just to our north. Some strong storms just to the south of the Jemez Mountains. Now, these storms came off the mountains. They're starting to weaken just a little bit, but there's still a stronger cell. A lot of dark reds and deep purples indicating some heavy rain and the potential for some hail as well. An area that we're continuing to watch is near Española and Santa Clara. As we told you earlier in the newscast, some heavy rain fell in the Santa Clara Canyon last night, and we're seeing another round of some strong heavy rain moving through the area right now, pushing slowly off to the south at about 5 to 15 miles per hour. Now, these storms are moving really slowly over the same spots over and over again, so that's why the flash flood concerns remain high, not only for areas along the northern mountains, but also here in the metro because we could still see a pop up storm later on tonight because that flash flood watch goes until 10 o'clock. A lot of activity also in western New Mexico and central New Mexico, basically along the mountain chain. You can see some storms also around the Sacramento. As the further east you go, the quieter it is. So around Tucumcari, Clovis, Roswell, and Carlsbad, you're not seeing much in the way of rain, and our chances will go down a little bit by Monday and Tuesday. Here are the flash flood watches that I was talking about. The flash flood watch here for Bernalillo County goes until 10 o'clock and for many areas shaded in green. Now the darker greens indicate flash flood warnings for Sandoval County and Los Alamos. Those go until 615. If you come across a flooded roadway, you don't even want to try and drive through it. You want to turn around because flood waters are very dangerous and can move very rapidly. And we're watching that threat for some heavy rain tonight here in the metro. So temperatures right now are sitting in the upper 80s. If you have some plans tonight, don't cancel them. Just keep your eye to the sky and be aware that that threat for some heavy rain here in the metro continues into the overnight hours as well. Temperatures tomorrow when you're waking up at 7 o'clock around 7, 70 degrees. Wind speeds here in the metro at 12 miles per hour, 23 and Santa Fe. But we are seeing some strong winds in northern and northwest New Mexico. 33 mile per hour wind gust and Farmington 28 in Santa Fe and 23 in Los Alamos with the storms in the region. So scattered storms once again during the overnight hours tonight and then tomorrow the storm chances go down a little bit. The best chance will once again be for central and western New Mexico. Now the game changer is going to be that high pressure system. That's going to move over to the state as we head into your Tuesday and Wednesday. Temperatures climbing back into the 90s here in the metro. A slight chance for some spotty showers. Not everybody's going to see them. They're going to be isolated in nature, but the good news is that high pressure systems not going to stick around for very long. It's going to push off to the east. That will allow a disturbance to move in to the at least the eastern half of the state, bringing another chance for some scattered storms as more moisture moves into eastern New Mexico by the end of the week. So for your Monday in southern Colorado, temperatures will be in the 80s, 88 degrees in Durango, 91 in Cortez, 86 degrees in Pagosa Springs with a chance for more storms. In the northwest, Farmington, you'll make it to 93 degrees, 85 degrees in Gallup, 84 in Grants, upper 80s in Cuba with a chance for afternoon and evening storms. In the southwest, you have a better chance for rain tomorrow. Temperatures climbing back into the 80s in Glenwood and Silver City, middle 90s in TRC. In the southeast, you're going to be one of the drier locations of the state as we head into the next seven days. Temperatures climbing back into the middle 90s in Roswell and Lovington. Over the northeast, we'll have another chance for storms. Temperatures ranging from the middle 80s into the upper 90s in Tucumcari. You'll make it to 98 degrees, so the heat will return for parts of eastern New Mexico in the northern mountains. We'll have another chance for some heavy rain. Temperatures in the 80s to near 90 degrees. And then in the east mountains, a chance for scattered storms. Temperatures in the upper 80s. And we'll be in the upper 80s to near 90 degrees here in the metro, breaking into the lower 90s. Our chances for showers does go down tomorrow, and also as we head into the middle of the week, a better chance arrives by Friday and Saturday. Okay, and just in the state's transportation.